Yo, welcome to feeding time. I am the big guy Ryback, and I need more information. Shirts available on Spring Tea, brother. Oh, guys, today we're going in hot. We got the Super Bowl on. It's Sunday. Just got done training, doing workout videos. It, it, it gets busy days. It's just from one thing to the next, and it, everything takes a, a lot of effort. And uh, today is just one of those days. I got a 24-hour fast coming up, so this is my cheat meal for the week. And uh, we got the halftime show on. Oh, somebody's singing. I don't give a shit about it either. <laughs> it's all, it, it looks like a good time. I have the game on. It's 10-10. Like, I'm keeping track. And uh, today, though, guys, I'm going Blaze Pizza. And uh, I got a veggie... Vegetarian pizza? The fucking yams on my pizza? I don't know how I... I could have swore the picture had broccoli. Which I still thought was... Uh, that was a little much. If I can switch out the broccoli with yams? They're... I mean, I like yams. But, not a fucking pizza? Well, I'll keep an open mind to this, guys. I don't know how I'm going to like this. I also got... Okay. These look exciting. There's a lot of these. Garlic bites? These aren't bites. Those are fucking, like, little baby gremlins in the cocoon. Fuck. Billy! A lot of you aren't going to know what I'm talking about on that. Those of you that do, we're old. <laughs> Alrighty then, I got my coffee, I got some water. None of you give a shit about any of that. So let's just go ahead and... I got to get this food. I've never had Blaze Pizza either. Oh, those fucking yams. They're like crunchy, too. They didn't even cook them. I mean, it's still good, but not... I ate a pretty large meal right before this. My post-workout meal. I thought this was going to take a long time to get delivered. It didn't. I really fucked up. But I need to eat all this, calorie-wise, before the fast. I'm getting pretty strong, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm still not where I was, but I'm getting there. It's fucking yams. I really, I'm not thrilled. I, it's like looking at him is bothering me. Just look, look it. Smell it. Hold on, let me. Look at my bite. That's what the food reviewers do. They show you their first bite. I already had a whole slice. I'm really unprofessional. The yams are throwing off the whole texture of the pizza. It's making it crunchy when I don't want it crunchy. Do I take them all off? Or do I just eat them? I mean, they are yams. Who the fuck you put yams on a fucking pizza? It already has the dough. I don't need more fucking carbs. It doesn't even make sense. Putting a complex carb with a simple carb, you really make up your fucking mind. Mm. Mm. Man, those Super Bowl show, uh, halftime shows going for a long time.
Hope to God nobody has the coronavirus there. That's, I'd be terrified going in front of groups of people right now. That shit going on, it's, every day it's going up more and more. That's serious. You can't fuck around with stuff like that. If it keeps getting bad, which I don't know if it's how you can contain something like that once it starts, you know, it just takes one person to get it and not check in. And then we're talking a whole different fucking ball game. We all know there's a lot of dumb shits out there that won't do that. Oh, I'm fine. No, Jeffrey, you need to be go fucking quarantine for fucking two weeks before you could fucking die, okay? Dumb shit. You're serious, though, legit. Those motherfuckers better have a cure. Better fucking figure it out. I'm gonna fuck them up. I have this coming up soon, too, for Ryback has heat. There's a nemesis bar I have, too. But that's, like, supposedly, I don't know if it's, like, 30-something Reapers, and the, the bar is huge. I'm not crazy about doing things that you could fucking actually cause health problems, so I'm not. We'll see how that goes. Let's take these yams off. You're not fucking invited to the party yams. Get the fuck out of my house. There we go. What is this, mushrooms only? That's the only fucking well, onions. I swear the picture had way more vegetables on it. They didn't put any fucking olives. That one, this is good now. I'm fucking, these yams, fuck you. I can't believe how much the yams are messing up the pizza. It was important to try it though, it's the only way you know, you know? Jeez. Fuck, and they put a lot of them too. Why do they do that? Fucking Jeffrey at Blaze Pizza. You little shit. Wasn't even on the picture. Oh, man. So much going on. Wow. It's really good. I'm gonna try some of these. Ooh, marinara sauce. That's what I look for. I saw they did a Papa John's garlic butter fondue thingamajiggy. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. Try this. These look really good. It's like a garlic pesto, pesto, pesto. Very doughy. Made with 100% pure fire. I'm just mentally tired today, guys. 
I don't really take a day off ever. I'm always doing stuff like from morning to night. So I think I was going to do a couple videos today. And I don't know. I think once I don't feel like I have it today. And the legs kick my ass. The dogs, I gotta go take them for a walk after this. They just ate. Mmm. Mmm. These are getting better as I eat them. These are really good. I probably didn't need to get 10 of them. I didn't know how big they were. One more piece of pizza. So much going on, guys. For the, um, just so for some people, because you'll see this happens, it happens all the time, guys. With, um, talked about, like, my name is legally Ryback Reeves, and uh, Ryback I created <clears throat> before I went back to WWE. And uh, was created by myself uh, before I went back to OVW, Ohio Valley Wrestling, when WWE was not affiliated with them. But anyways, they, uh, a lot of shady things went on. And they ended up filing the trademark for it without my consent. And there, it was like a huge deal. There's a lot of shit that's gone on, guys, that people don't understand. And that's fine. But, uh. There's a reason. So we, the way to do things is to raise public awareness on the behind the scenes things of what big corporations do. It's the only way to create change over time because what happens is, is it raises public awareness. Other people see this stuff and it's a way to kind of just let people see uh, what, what these companies do because it's unnecessary. And uh, a lot of people don't understand, but the and, and I've had contact over things and there's a reason why I do things publicly. Uh, I've won every step of the way. So why anyone would even question what I'm doing at this point, I literally have gotten everything at this point, which is never to this degree uh, really is a thing. And uh, setting up some things for the upcoming months. But I could use my name anywhere. It's not, it's not, I don't need to come up with a new name, anything like that. It's just, I don't want them having the trademark and profiting on it. And they don't want me to have it, even though it is me, I am the trademark. Because if they wanted me to go back or if I went back, whatever it was, even for a match, they would have to pay me to use my name. And the merchandise, I would get a lot more money. But they also, I will be awarded it. When I cancel theirs out, it will be awarded to me. The thing is, they're just make rather than them just give it to me, which is this is what the issue is. I'm gonna get it regardless. They're making me though pay through a trademark thing, and it's my choice if I want to. And I can say, hey, fuck it, you guys can keep it, whatever. I don't want them keeping it though, and they know I don't want them keeping it because it, they didn't create it, and they went about uh, filing for it without my consent to begin with, which was a huge, huge ordeal at the time. But a lot of stuff goes on and a lot of things and that, that people don't know about. So, But anyways, these other wrestling sites, guys, and some YouTube channels, they put out false things just to get people worked up. Just to get clicks. And you just got to... Smart people understand that. But you guys, I'm there! Those people, the fucking Jeffries of the world, they watch it, they get angry, and then they go and they spew negative judgment over something that's not even real, or they don't even, they, they're they getting uh, an incomplete story or things of that nature, so. Don't watch that shit, guys. These people, the people that make that stuff, I tell you, it blows my mind. There's just no reason for it. So...
And they hate that I tell you not to watch it. So then they make up more negative stuff, and that's fine. Come to the source always. The big guy will always shoot you straight. So anyways, but I've, I've filed a... We have a delay on it for six more months. And then we'll go from there. And then I'll either have to start the process, which is not going to cost... 200000 up front. That's like the what it, it can end up costing over time if they choose to drag it out, which who knows what they'll do. I like making things public, though, because it holds them accountable. And what, it, what we have an opportunity to do is if I win this, and I will, it, what it does is, guys, it helps wrestlers for the future. And it, it allows people to see... And it raises an awareness for wrestlers to trademark their names. Because oftentimes, too, and you guys don't understand this, some of the dumb shits out there, that if a wrestler trademarks their name prior to going there, WWE is just not going to use that name. And they won't, or there's going to be issues with it. Or they're like, you're going to get punished. There's, you guys don't get the, the inner workings of what they, this company gets away with. So that's why it's good to be able to have other things going on and not be dependent on that. And, uh, and the only way to create change is by being a leader and standing up for what's right, even if nobody else understands it. It's not, not, I don't care. I understand it. And I know the people there, the boys and girls understand it. So just shut the fuck up and let the big guy do his thing. Worry about yourself, Jeffrey. I love that Jeffrey is just now the name of the fucking idiots. <laughs> All right. I'm going to eat this. Over by the TV. Enjoy it off camera. I'm reading a really book, good book right now. I like to always have a little positivity on here too. Uh, we're going to try to get the, the woman on the podcast, which I got to actually schedule some guests here tonight too, uh, called Judgment Detox. It's not available actually on Audible, this one, but Gabby, I believe it's Gabrielle Bernstein. Um, and I apologize if I, it's not, I'm almost 99% positive that's her name, but it's called Judgment Detox. You can get it on Amazon. Check it out. I'm almost done with it. Amazing books. Amazing, amazing, amazing books. There. It's an amazing book. And uh, because we all judge, everyone does. It's like literally, there's nobody that doesn't judge, but it, it, it teaches you some different uh, things. I'm becoming really aware of it and, and trying to uh, accept love and compassion. Uh, in choosing that over over judgment, and uh, I'm gonna have to try to get her on the show and actually have her work with me on the show over a couple like people that do steroids and the fucking bodybuilders and different, like I hate it, but I don't put myself around it, and I think I've taken really good steps to try not to form judgment. People are gonna do what they want to do, but I also am smart enough to know that I don't want to put myself in that environment, which is why I don't do like the expos and things because I hate that entire environment. I hate what it stands for. So I don't want to be affiliated with it, but I would like to get her on there because she, she seems pretty amazing and have her get in the head and see on uh, conversation with the big guy Ryback, my podcast on a couple different issues and uh, just do a live little deal on that. I think it'd be really cool. So if she's, if she's cool with it. So anyways, guys, I'm done here. Done. And I'm not done though. I got to go heat this up and bring it over there and, and finish it. So Thank you guys for watching very much, and uh, let's have a good one. I got a lot more videos here coming up this week. If you guys ever have any video suggestions, things you want to see, uh, we'll try our best to get it done. I still got this, what, what's that smell game, and it's just a matter of, of getting things coordinated with other people, and I live really far away, and I'm very limited with the Sophie situation, so make the best of it, and uh, thank you guys. We're approaching 200,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, looking forward to, let's get this to a million. YouTube has slowed it down here recently. I heard they've done that to a bunch of channels. I don't know what's going on. We were going up really nicely there. And like, they've like halted it. I don't know if they're making me really work for that 200,000. Teasing me, dangling that carrot right in front of me. And, uh, but we're going to do it. All right, guys. What's my clothes? Do I have a clothes for this? No. Get hungry, stay hungry. Feed me more.
Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my all natural su my all natural supplement line. Supplement, supplement. Stupid. My all natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition. Available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more.